Hi everyone. <clears throat> it's been a while. Uh, had stuff going on or stuff happening, happening. Um, but things are looking up, so I hope to be back on regularly. Today, um, <laughs> it's really hot. Um, <clears throat> so trying to stay cool. Uh, what I would like to show today are some finished objects, um, a couple of cows, <clears throat> and a couple of finished objects as well. So first off, I would like to say welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs> Sorry. Time to feed the dog. All right, they are fed and uh, content. Although the cat's not gone to eat yet, but he will. Um, <clears throat> didn't realize what time it was. Anyways, let's move on, move on. As I was saying, thank you so much for my new subscribers. And I would like to also thank uh, my returning subscribers. I so appreciate you coming and watching my videos. Um, when you do, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. So, I hope you keep coming back. Uh, and your comments are always welcome and I love getting comments and I will always reply to them as soon as I can. So thank you so much. All right, let's move on. Let's start with the cows. So <clears throat> uh, the first one is from Jada in Stitches. It is the 2019 Calendar Folk Art Blanket. And I'm just moving back so to try to get it mostly in. So this time around it was um, houses or buildings, I suppose, whatever you would, oh, oh there we go, it's that side that's curling out. <clears throat> so that's what I've got. This is everything. I'm just going to bring it up closer. Mm. So you can see some details. Oh, there's some flowers down there. That's my brick house. And these are, um, I'm going to say townhouses because that's what I live in. Some more flowers. No more flowers. And this one has vines growing up the side of the building. I finally found a use for eyelash yarn. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so that is that cow. Mm. Okay, my second cow is from um, Valerie, old, from Old Soul Crochet, and we're doing the baby sheep. Absolutely love it. Isn't that adorable? I can't wait to get it finished. Here's the back. And I love the way she um, teaches you on how to attach the head to the body. I mean, look at how sturdy that is, you know? That is wonderful. And yes, my sheep is, uh, her head is tilting a little bit, but hey, it adds character, right? So this is Burnett Blanket. And this, um, the yarn that I used <clears throat> from for the head, the face and the ears, 
is uh, it's kind of like Bernat blanket, but it's um, fluffy and it's from the dollar store. So that's even better. Yeah, I just used uh, put two <laughs> strands together. Yes, hello Titus. <laughs> he wants my attention. So yes, um, and I think I'm improving with uh, every time I make an amigurumi. I have been I, I before old soul crochet. I did not make um, amigurumi because I just was not good at it but she is a wonderful teacher as well so let us move on to finish objects okay that's enough babies <clears throat> well since Titus is here um, my fin <laughs> how appropriate my finished objects are poop bag holders and it's on a lobster cloth chain. <clears throat> and you just put them inside, like you open up, you open up the slit and you just push the bag in there. I don't, I haven't had any problems, but I have this one in blue, light blue. Yes, Jonah. Here comes Jonah wanting to know what's going on. Mwah. This is mint green and they're all made the same. This one is in just in, uh, hang on a second, kind of flat because I was, had them in the bag. There we go. Um, yeah, that's green. This one is gold. You see the bottom is round. Then I have one in red. This one is orange. This one is like a gold orange. And two more. One in pink and one in light pink. So remember when you put the bag, when you put them in the bags, they have the nice form to them. So you can hook hook it just about anywhere you want. I don't know what that. No, that's not gonna focus. Anyway, it's a six millimeter um, lobster clasp. So that's that finished object. One more finished object. Oh, and I'm so happy about this that I finally got it done. It is my hat, my brim hat. Top of it. There we go. 
it's so hard to get used to the, the camera angles and whatnot. But yeah, I finally got the wire in and I finally found the, uh, the end um, connector pieces. So I'm happy with that. I also have one more, um, one more items, one more group of stuff to show you. And that is, I went to uh, an unexpected trip the other day to Michael's and they had their clearance for, um, of some yarn. A lot of it was already gone by the time I got there. But what they did have a lot left of is mm, the Lion Brand feels like butter. They had lots of this left. Now regular, the skein is $12. And I got it on sale for seven. And now each skein has, uh, it is 275 grams, 9.7 ounces. It has 590 yards or 540 meters. It is a medium size four, which yeah, I would agree. And this colorway is dusty pink. I didn't, don't, I didn't have this the last time. Or rather, they didn't have this the last, this color, the last time I got some yarns. Actually, they had a couple of new ones. Um, I did get another skein of the lemon. and a skein of the lilac one skein of mint and one skein of ice don't think I had this one the last time. Yeah, and that's, I just got those skeins. Although I would have liked, loved to have taken a whole bunch more, but you know, uh, there's only so much in the wallet. <clears throat> so I want to do I, a review on the Feels Like Butter because there are, um, a couple of issues that I I came across the last time I used it. <laughs> yes, Titus. He is licking my arm. <sighs> the last week he or last two weeks, he has been licking me like crazy. And I think that's just his, I mean, he is my service dog, so I think he's just alerting me of anxiety issues and whatnot. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Okay, yeah, enough slobber. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a... Jonah! Jonah just swatted him. You can stay... <sighs> Jonah wants the desk all to himself and no one else near him or rather no other four-legged person near him <laughs> anyway um yes yeah, so his slobbers because are yeah quite wet because he's a Bernese mountain dog so he's big 
Let's see if I can show you. There we go. Hi, Titus. Say hello. Yo. You see you, my babies? Yes. Yes, mommy loves you. <laughs> He's such a suck. <laughs> I love him so much. Good boy. All right. And I got a... Oh. It's not really Happy Mail, but I got a really nice surprise acquisition today. Um, my son was out this afternoon uh, with his friend, with his buddy. Um, they went out to do stuff and they played video games and whatnot. But I was having a nap when he got home. And I vaguely remember him coming into my room, tapping me on the shoulder and telling me that uh, he was home and that when I woke up from my nap that there's something on my desk for me. So I'm like, yeah, okay, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> and I'm going back to sleep. Anyways, I thought maybe it was a drink or, you know, something like that. No, he gives me an Amazon gift card. That was like so wonderful. I I'm not going to read his letter, that he all of his letter. Um, just, uh, you know, he just basically says that he knows I've been having a rough time lately and uh, just wanted to give me something to cheer me up. And it's like, oh my goodness, that's so sweet. Just, you know, it's, yeah. He's such a kind hearted kid. Well, <laughs> he's not a kid, he's 23. Uh, <laughs> He'll always be my kid. <laughs> um, but that was very unexpected and very, so very sweet of him. So this week is going to be a very busy week for me because in the mornings I'm volunteering with uh, my church for BBC, which is Vacation Bible Church. Um, and then in the afternoon, I'm going to be um, volunteering in the office. I do a lot of data entry uh, because they've been they've been cha they've changed their programs. So I update all that, and I update their website, which is um, a brand new website that I've been working on. Um, yeah, things like that. Attendance records and basically whatever, uh, whatever is needed. Um, yeah, so it's, I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to cope with all that because I know last year, um, when I volunteered with VBC, I it's only in the mornings um like we have to be there from 8 30 in the morning before the kids start arriving and they're done around noonish um if i'm not mistaken last year after the morning was done i'd come home and i'd sleep i was just dead 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 mind you i was taking pictures all all morning long so that kept me quite busy this year i'm just working on the registration so it shouldn't be too bad um but then working in the afternoon at church as well yeah i'm gonna be I'm going to be dead and I'm going to be in some serious pain, especially with my medications being switched around that I have noticed, um, the pain has greatly increased 
and especially um, with my spine, um, I get, I'm just constantly getting shooting pain down my legs. So God willing, I'll be able to do it and I'll be able to get through the week. Looking forward to Thursday because Thursday is our uh, pool party after um, after BBC and lunch is finished on Thursday. And we have it on Thursday instead of Friday because a lot of people uh, on Fridays, they start getting ready to go away for the weekends and whatnot. So we have it on Thursday. And which is really nice because all I have to do is take my mobility scooter and go across the park and that's the house where the pool party is. So that's fantastic. And they love Titus too, so he comes with me. So that's about, what are you chewing on? Silly dog. He will try to eat just about anything he can get his lips on. So I've kept you long enough and uh, I will, I, I still plan on getting that uh, live um, sale on Facebook soon because I, I really need to get some funds in. Um, I'm not having luck finding a new vehicle with the funds that I have available right now. So I need to increase the amount that I have. Um, so this way I can get a vehicle and get Titus back to his training, service dog training, so he can be officially registered. Um, it's an hour and a half away, so there's no way for me to get out there without a vehicle. So, having said that, have a great evening. And... We shall see you soon. Bye, everyone.